What's going on, YouTube? Me, I got some things going on. Myself. Hopefully not as much as some of y'all. But here it goes. There's an, a, a saying going around now that old people, older couples, the reason they stay together is because they fix things. Something comes up, they address it, they fix it. Young couples, something comes up, they don't fix it. And by the way, it's a nice day out here, so you're gonna get some nice scenery instead of looking at me today. With that being said, you go back to the new Woman Crush video, I'm actually dating somebody now. Except it's not that person. Nope. This sweet girl that I'm dating here is a girl from my past. Me and her never hooked up until recently after she told me how she felt. Now, I've heard before that she may have felt like that, but when she was with somebody, I was with somebody, and pretty much left it alone. I would go and peep on her Facebook page every so often be like, Boy, oh, you know, it, the girl's pretty sweet. I, you know, remember the old days. So we finally hooked up and everything was going pretty good. Until, and this is where the fix-it things come in. The outsiders. Decided that they just want to end the relationship. At least that's how I feel. They want to end the relationship or make it hard. If, they're, if that's not their goal, they're doing exactly that. So here's what happened. We got into a big, well, not really. The baby daddy was acting the fool one day at a party. And I was mostly quiet. Didn't cuss the guy. Didn't kick the guy in the face like I actually wanted to. And my mom tells me, I heard about that talking and this and this and this and that I need to stay away from our house. The guy who sat there quiet has to stay away while the guy who has been an asshole asking me and my girl how do we fuck. Yeah, using the, the words and everything. And while teaching his kid Humping the wall and licking the wall and shit. It's free roam. Now tell me how that shit works. On top of that, another girl that I used to date, and this is where it gets a little odd. You go back and you, you watch the video letting go. I'm referring to this person. This person is telling my girl things about me inaccurately and just flat out lying. Now, way back, me and that girl kind of had a falling out. I'm talking about the one that I had let go. I didn't get into details why I let her go. But basically, the boy tried to holler at her and she gave me all kind of lame excuses. Like, oh, well, if we get together, people gonna think we messed around while you was married. Or, uh, well, I'm busy. Um, well, I just want to be single. Uh, well, I got a lot going on. Oh, uh, well, you got a lot going on. And then back to the, oh, I want to be single thing. While at the, the whole time, she had a boyfriend. And as friends, which we were, you know, she would help me out from time to time with a little cash. I would help her out from time to time. Mostly me helping her out from time to time. And we pay each other back, you know, as needed. However, with me finding out that she had somebody while being dishonest with me, really just pissed me off because we'd known each other for almost 20 years. Why not just be flat out? Oh, I got a boyfriend. I got somebody I'm, I'm with right now. Instead of saying all the other crap, which was just a bunch of bullshit to me. So 
so I let that person go. Because, no, you gotta do that you chose. Don't call me and ask me for money. Put the new guy to the test. Put him to the test. You saying those kids in here, put him to the test. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this paid. That's your new guy. That is me, that is me. And since that relationship was fresh as well, with her having a guy, I wasn't finna be around or try to hang around or be buddy buddy with you because you got a guy and I felt that that would be disrespectful for me as a single dude to be up in your face when you're in a relationship. Which is why I let that person go. See, I never got into details why I let that person go. But now she is in my relationship. Oh, do you know he's paying for an apartment for his ex-wife to live in? While also saying that I'm still paying for it, she's also saying, well, also leaving out a crucial fact. And I've explained on YouTube more than once the reason we kept that apartment. We was going half on the rent, and I didn't want to ruin my credit. She needed a spot, I needed my credit, so that I can get me a house in February. However, she stopped giving me the money, while at the same time had me on child support. And she wasn't gonna give me that half on the rent to help keep my uh, credit good, so, I let the place go in November. And the lease was up anyway in February. Another thing that she did was said that I was still continuing trying to talk to her. All the way up through January, which is when me and my new girl hooked up. Yeah. See, old people fix these problems, and what I was told a long time ago by my barber when I first got married, I got my girl calling now, but I'm going to call her back. Babe, I'm going to call you back. What I was told by this guy was, if somebody talks about your partner, your wife, and she ain't there, can't defend herself, tell them to shut up. And I think that's what needs to be done because you got a person there that is real close to my girl. They're, they're extremely close. I'm not going to say why they're extremely close, but they are extremely close. But she's there giving false information which has my girl extremely upset at me. On top of that, mom's put me out, so I can't even go over there and defend myself. So if you got somebody in your business that's telling lies about you, or they're talking about your spouse, they're talking about your partner, guy, girl, it doesn't matter. Tell them to shut it up. And you can go ask your partner themselves. In one mile, because sometimes your family, man, this car ain't going nowhere. Sometimes your own family, they might not want to see you happy. And due to our circumstances, that feels to me like exactly what's going on. Now, I'm not just saying it like I'm just Mr. Perfect because my social anxiety slash me having issues getting messed over that's something that babe is trying to work with me on but it's also getting on her nerves too and I'm not trying to do that because like I was telling her hey for over 20 years I've been getting screwed over by women like In this other girl that's lying mile. to her Turn left. and it's hard And sometimes it's hard for people who don't have anxiety or who don't deal with those panic attacks and things like that to actually understand. And so you got a, pro a, a spouse or something that has issues like that, then try to work with them. 
try to hold out. Just do what you can. But more importantly, spend time with that person as much as you possibly can. It's another thing that a lot of old couples did. They had family night. Just be them and them. They had the date nights. You know what I'm saying? It might just be Saturday. Or it might be a Friday. I had a good friend of mine. Man, he... Relationship started rough, but... He had had this one ritual that he kept as soon as he got married. He never let his wife cook on Fridays. They always went out on for tacos. And they had one of the best relationships that I've seen. Unfortunately, he's passed away. But guess what? He was an older guy, so they understood. He worked things out. He had extreme anger Turn issues left. when he first got with her. Turn and, left. you know, hey, there was some bruises here and there. But instead of her just running off, which, I mean, she could have in that situation, and she started helping him with it. Signed him up for a class, and their relationship went smooth from there. Look, work with your spouse, keep people out your business.